everyone, Summerhill Cinema 700 here with my Blu-ray news video number 15. We're just going to be taking a look at some of the some upcoming Blu-rays that are going to be coming out in the next few months. Taking a look at some upcoming stuff here uh, to talk about and stuff and whatnot. But uh, before we get on this video, very sad. I just found out I didn't even hear about it until today that uh, <clears throat> Richard Donner passed away, which I was really upset to hear about. Um, I'm sure most of you know who he is, but. <clears throat> What I know him most most from is, of course, the director of The Goonies, which is one of my favorite films. Uh, the Goonies, The Omen, the Lethal Weapon films, and he did so much more. But, yeah, just very sad to hear that. So rest in peace, Richard Donner. Um, yeah, definitely a, a very sad uh, loss there. But uh, moving on here, we're going to be doing, uh, like, like I said, Blu-ray news. Take a look at some stuff coming up. Uh, starting out here, we have an uh, official announcement coming for uh, October 5th from Kino Lorber. Um, we have Scream Pretty Peggy, the Betty Davies film, and it has uh, a slip cover. <clears throat> uh, coming to Blu-ray soon, it says from Code Red, uh, we have That Man Bolt from 1973 starring Fred Williamson. I got the DVD of that actually recently, and I watched it just about uh, two weeks ago or so, and it was really fun. It was a good... Uh, action thriller type of movie black exploitation action soul cinema whatever you want to call it good film though it was a lot of fun uh looks like paramount's going to be releasing a star trek uh box set or something well 4k set at least as the first four star trek films in 4k it says uh looks like it's coming out september 7th this year uh code red is doing a repress of trick or treats from 1982. I'm not even familiar with this film. Uh, looks interesting though. Coming October. Looks like it comes with a slipcover. Looks like a slasher or something. Mortar Archive is going to be releasing One Crazy Summer from 1986. It looks like it's coming out August 10th. Uh, the Steve Martin film Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid coming out from Kino Lorber. Looks like it comes with a slipcover as well. September 21st. Uh, the Adams Family and Scream, the original Scream, are coming out on 4K. Uh, it looks like that's coming out October 12th of this year. I think I already announced this one, but I don't know. It popped up again. Uh, Bird on a Wire, the Mel Gibson Goldie Hawn film uh, from 1990. Looks like it's coming out September 21st from Kino Lorber. Maybe I'd announced it before, but I didn't know the exact date. Kino Lorber is also releasing uh, The Hunter Will Get You from 1976. <clears throat> September, it looks like that's coming out. Uh, the Thing is getting a 4K UHD. September 7th, that's going to be coming out. It looks like it's going to be coming in a steelbook form. It has a really cool looking artwork, too. Uh, the Kurt Russell film Breakdown is getting a... a does it say Blu-ray? Yeah, Blu-ray. September 21st from Paramount. Um, the next uh, title in the Vestron video collector series is going to be Sundown, The Vampire in Retreat. It looks like it has David Carradine in it, Bruce Campbell. Uh, that one's coming out uh, August 17th. This one I'm excited about, Sniper from 1993, is getting a Blu-ray from Sony Pictures. Looks like July 20th, it'll be coming out soon. And, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of this film. I watched it for the first time maybe a year or two ago on TV, and I wanted to get it. Is, is there, you, there's a DVD set available. It's like the, There's like three or four of them or something on DVD, but this is just the first one here on Blu-ray, so that's very exciting. Definitely will pick that up. Uh, Arrow Video is going to be releasing uh, Death Screams from 1982, September 13th. That'll be interesting. Never heard of that one. Uh, looks like uh, Arrow is also going to be releasing a 4K UHD of... Children of the Corn, September 27th. Uh, Arrow Video is going to be releasing the uh, 19... I can't even remember what year this came out. 80-something. Uh, Legend, of course, starring Tim Curry. Uh, that looks like it's coming out, uh, again, from Arrow Video. Limited edition Blu-ray. Doesn't say when. But I uh, can imagine it will be soon. Very interesting. It looks like it's going to be coming in a deluxe box set type of thing, kind of like they did for The Hills Have Eyes and uh, RoboCop as well. 
Uh, Arrow is releasing a box set here. It looks like it's called uh, Cold War Creatures. Four films from Sam Katzman. Limited edition Blu-ray set. It doesn't say when it's... What the fuck is this computer doing here? It's having a seizure. Uh, it looks like... It doesn't say an exact date that that's coming out. But interesting. No idea who that guy is. Uh, MVD flash sale right now for Arrow titles, June 25th to 28th. Whole bunch of stuff on sale. Uh, this is interesting from, uh, Synapse Films, or Synapse, or whatever. Coming, uh, to 4K UHD, October 19th from Synapse Film, Lamberto Bava's Italian horror classics Demons and Demons 2 make their North American UHD debuts just in time for Halloween. But it's interesting, it also shows a Blu-ray, just a Blu-ray, and it looks like it comes like a, I already have, they already released these two films, and I already have the Synapse Blu-ray for Demons 1 and 2. But it's interesting, it looks like it, uh, it's going to be a double pack, eat both films, and it looks like it has some other little stickers or poster or something, but there's the 4K, and it looks like there's also going to be a Blu-ray version, and it might have a new transfer from what I've heard, so that's very interesting. Might have to pick that up, we'll see if it's worth the upgrade. Did I even say when that's coming out? One sec here. That one's coming out. Oh, I, did, I think I did say October 19th. Uh, also coming to, from, to 4K UHD. Uh, this one's from Blue Underground. is going to be uh, God Told Me To, the Larry Cohen film. And the Toolbox Murders. Those are going to be coming out. It just says more info to be announced. It doesn't have a date yet. So very interesting. Also coming to 4K. A lot of 4K stuff. Uh, from Dust Till Dawn, coming out October 26th. Uh, some new Vinegar Syndrome titles were announced. We have The Lamp, Through the Fire, and Killer's Delight. And as with many of their titles, I've never heard of any of those. Again, another 4K title coming uh, September 14th. We have uh, The Shawshank Redemption. A another 4K title. A Clockwork Orange will be coming out September 21st from Warner Bros. Entertainment. Uh, the Howling is also going to be getting a 4K UHD September 22nd from Studio Canal. Interesting, they must have the rights now because I think Screen Factory did before. I have the Screen Factory Blu-ray for The Howling. Uh, again, another 4K title also coming from Studio Canal. We have uh, Highlander. That's, also, that's coming out September 22nd there. Uh, this one's very exciting here. Uh, two, two more pieces of news here. These ones are very exciting from uh, Screen Factory. Uh, we have Elvira's Haunted Hills coming out September 28th from Screen Factory. And then this one I'm very excited for. It's a film that I've wanted to see for quite a while. And a lot of other people have too. There's no Blu-ray release of it. Is Alone in the Dark. And Screen Factory is also going to be releasing this one. Uh, it looks like coming out September 14th. That's uh, coming... Uh, it just says... Yeah, Alone in the Dark 1982 Collector's Edition Blu-ray. More info to be announced. And last but not least, uh, coming from uh, Screen Factory, uh, does it say when? It just says later this year, we can presume October. Another 4K release. It's going to be the first five Halloween films are being released on 4K, like a box set. Like the one they did before for, with Blu-ray, except it's just going to be the first five films, and it's on 4K. So very exciting news for any of you who collect 4K. I don't myself, but if these include uh, Blu-ray copies and, and then they end up having a lot of special features, I might have to get this set. But a lot of people have been saying too that they don't like the artwork, but personally I like it. I'll show you what it looks like. There's the artwork for uh, the first one, or my bad. There's the artwork for the first one, first film. They all have this kind of uh, reoccurring theme with the leaves. There's the second one. Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, Halloween 4, and Halloween 5. I personally like these. I think they're really cool. A lot of people said that they don't like them, but I think it, it, it's cool. It's unique. It's something different. I like it. Uh, so let me know what you think of all these releases, what ones are you most excited for, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.